Hi, Pokey fans. My name is Steve Erwingo, known affectionately to many as the Totodile Hunter. However, I'm not actually a Totodile Hunter. I'm more of a wildlife expert and preservationist. And because of my expertise, I've been called out here today to deal with a massive Totodile outbreak here in the city, which is not good for multiple reasons. Of course, there's the problem of overpopulation, which is always an issue, but Totodiles also have a nasty bite, and being around this many people, not a good thing. So our mission today is to wrangle up as many of these Totodiles as we possibly can in order to relocate them to a more hospitable habitat. And in the process, we might find some especially rare, alternately colored Totodiles to wrangle up as well. Speaking of rare, ultimately, colored totodiles that we may or may not find. Crikey! <laughs> so now that you understand our mission for today, let's head out there and rescue some totodile. So before I've even had a chance to find any totodiles, one of the eggs that I was incubating has started hatching, which is great because that means I can incubate another egg and get some quick distance on it. Oh, it's a little penguin. You are far from your home, little guy. All right, so here we are. We got two totodiles right here. We'll make sure we wrangle them up. Get him out of harm's way and get the people around you out of harm's way. You ever been bitten by a totodile? It's not fun. No, I, I have promise not. you, it is an incredibly unpleasant experience. I just pick them up from behind. They can't reach you out. Oh, well, of course. But, you know, <laughs> when you're first learning, mistakes can happen. <laughs> or when the person you trusted, I hold it from behind, doesn't hold on tight enough. No, you were just standing in front. <laughs> That's a mistake you made. Now, one thing I want to address right at the start of this video is that a lot of you are probably thinking, my God, that guy's Australian accent is terrible. Well, my response to you is that that's impossible because I'm from Australia and I have an accent. So therefore, if I'm Australian and I have an accent, then I have a real Australian accent and therefore it can't be terrible. Rise up lights. Rise up lights, yeah. <laughs> the things you shape with, rise up lights. <laughs> oh, I need a lot more totodile candy. I don't have very much. Now they got 75. Couldn't even evolve one totodile to a feraligator today. That's not good. Need to be pineapping these totodiles. <laughs> You've got the pineapple berries to spare. That's true, I do. Great food for the totodile. They love them. Makes them poop out more of their candy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Normally you don't want the toad having diarrhea everywhere, but when it's the candy diarrhea, it's the good kind. <laughs> I must say, this is one of the most beautiful days I've ever gotten to experience while doing wildlife work. It is a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which normally I know I should be saying it in Celsius, but I'm converting it for my American viewers. You're welcome. <laughs> uh -huh. And that is another shiny, shiny number two. Mikey Zero, Jubbly Two. My name's not Mikey, it's oh. Steve. Steve Erwingle. Steve, Ur Steve Ur sorry, let me, let me do that again. Steve Erwingle Zero, Me Too. Hashtag Me Too. Pokemon wildlife can be weird sometimes. There'll just be a bunch here, and then everything but a worm and a bird will disappear. And they just, they're just gone. Don't know how they do it. It's honestly very impressive, but also really annoying. Oh, there, they're back. Totodile, come on. I'm trying to help you here. You're gonna, I'm gonna put you in a swamp. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be much nicer than this university campus. <laughs> not that this university campus is nice, it's just not, not that nice for a totodile. Yeah, very true. Totodile's like wet, marshy areas. Lots of Magikarp they can chomp on to their heart's content. You know, if you weren't aware, Magikarp are actually an incredibly integral part of Pokemon ecosystems. And the reason for that is that they're an excellent food source for Pokemon, and they're also extremely fertile. Which is a weird thing to say, but I promise you it's in the Pokedex. <laughs> they're extremely fertile, so they're a great food source, and they reproduce incredibly fast. So it helps make it so that ecosystems can flourish. There's a Heatran raid stopping in about 40 minutes. You definitely get stopped by that. Yeah, we could. Let's have a Heatran. Yeah. Stop. No. 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 <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. So in less than a minute, this big legendary egg's gonna hatch and we're gonna do our first ever Heatran raid. We've never done one before. Should be interesting. 
hopefully it's not too difficult to catch, because I'd like one, but I don't want to go out for others later. Hey, Trad. Yeah, what a beast. Look at my big Riparia. Oh, what a beautiful beast. With an earthquake. Yeah, it's got an earthquake off. Big damage. All right, let's see if we can catch this e -tran. Three golden razors, nine rare candies. Even if we don't, that's pretty nice. Sucker is small, I don't like that. Nope. How is that still great? You gotta get it so small to be excellent. Yeah, that's I'm ridiculous. To get oh, but I got it. Excellent. Well, it was great. It was a great throw. It was not an excellent throw. But I got my first ever Heatran weather boosted. That's beautiful. 2604. Strongbow. Okay, its IVs aren't great, but I got a big Heatran. That's awesome. I am so excited that I finally got my first one. Yes. Congratulations. Oh now here's a cult. Well, you don't or at have least to. even if I do it again, I don't care because I got one. You no! Know? Oh. This 883 total is perfect attack. That is a strong bugger. All right, so we saw this bigger croc out here. Croc and no free raid bass. Cool. We figured it'd be good to battle against it because this is a big boy. We definitely got to get him out of this uh, city area. Not not going to be good for the local ecosystem. There's big crocs here. Well, additionally, it's going to have really good IVs. <laughs> we can use it to make a really nice hydro cannon for alligator. So that's why we're doing it. And it's already over. See, that's the power of teamwork, everyone. Like 15. You got one wildlife wrangler, you can't handle a big croc like this. Well, maybe actually this one, you probably could, but if it was a real, like, animal croc, you know, those, you can't handle that with one, plus you gotta have a team. You sneak up behind it. Look at that, here's my teammate right here. <laughs> and we wrangled him. All right, wrangled the big croc, that's fantastic. How strong is it? Simply amazes. Excellent stats. Fantastic. We'll probably evolve this guy. Whoa! What is this on the nearby? What? A bronzor. Where is it? Really far away, but we're going. Come on. I got a semi-stone. Oh, from, from your research breakthrough. That's fantastic. It's an Articuno. It's a regular Articuno, right? I already have a yeah, oh, that's great, Jubilee. She's got all the shiny legendaries and I just don't. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Oh, yes! Crikey! I finally found a shiny! Congrats. Oh, this entire time! I've been waiting and I found a little bugger! Congrats. Crikey, oh, look at him. Look at that beautiful creature. Stay in that ball. You're going to my zoo. We will treat you right. It's terribly weak, but that's all right. We'll, we'll keep him as a pet. Oh, but there's two Tauros. It's always nice. For my ranch. <laughs> Another shiny. Oh, seriously? Yeah. How are you this lucky? So much luckier than me every time. I don't have to brave the wilderness for this one. Oh, boy. And there it is. Right. Finally found it. First bronze I've ever seen. Rare species. Yeah. Braved wilderness trick for this one. Every day you can catch a bronzer is a good thing. <laughs> exactly. Alright. No bronze horse now, my buddy. Right. Adorable. Oh <gasps> yes! Another shiny! Yay! Oh, and Ooh, it's, it's super strong. high sight, high CP. Will it be strong IVs? Crikey! 877? That might be the highest I've seen. I was caught. Praise. So it's got highest attack. It's decent. Yeah, highest attack. Still, I mean, even that's if its IVs aren't good. fantastic, that's, that is buff. It's a solid. All right, everyone, that about wraps it up for our expedition today, wrangling up as many of these total eyes as we could. We did a great job, got tons of them, including two fancy shiny ones, one that is so weak a sneeze would probably kill it, so we're gonna make sure it's protected in the zoo, and another one which is much stronger, 63%, 877 CP, so we're gonna evolve this one right now, because we want a big buff hydro cannon for alligator that can kick some butt. Representing Australia. 
Oh, look at that nice, look at that nice shiny croc and all. Croc and all. Crikey, all right, one more evolution. We have, a, have ourselves a hydro cannon. Oh, it's getting windy. It's very windy today. Yeah, it's been pretty windy today. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. What a gorgeous creature. Would I you say it. it's gorgeous? No, it's not a floor gist. Do you know anything about Pokemon anatomy at all? This is a for alligator. There's a couple more for alligators I want to evolve that are not shiny, but I'm going to do that off camera because you know what that looks like. But thank you all so much for tuning in this video. Thank you so much to Jubilee for being a lovely part of the entertainment value of it. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Good eye. Good day. <laughs> <laughs>